Okay, today guys, we're trying to prove that the area of an ellipse is pi AB. So, this is the, um, this is an ellipse right here, as you know. And there's two ways of doing this. We can either use Jacobian, find the Jacobian, and from there we can prove that it's pi AB. Or we can use a much easier and faster method. So, as you know, an ellipse is a Jordan curve. In other words, it's, it's bounded. It's closed. It's a closed region. So therefore, we can use Jordan curves, an application of line integrals, to prove that the area is pi AB. So using this formula over here, we have 1 half negative y dx plus x dy. We can prove that the area of an ellipse is pi AB. So let's go ahead and start this problem. So the first thing you want to do is you want to parametrize this ellipse. So we know that x equals a cosine theta and y equals b sine theta. Which pretty much is that the radius for x is just a and the radius for b Sorry for y is just b, so that's why it looks like that. So now we're just going to apply this to this formula over here. So we say negative y, so negative b sine theta it says dx. This means take the derivative of x with whatever x is with respect to. For here, x is a function of theta, so we're going to take the derivative of x with respect to theta. When we do that, we get negative a sine theta. Then it says plus x dy, so plus x as it is, a cosine theta dy. Same idea, y is a function of theta. So we're going to take the derivative of y with respect to theta, that's just b cosine theta. So times b cosine theta over here and we can already tell that we're going to take this integral with respect to theta because the only variable we have here is theta so it's d theta and you might be asking what the limits of integration to be are going to be so it's an ellipse so we all know that the limits of integration have to be from 0 to 2 pi the entire ellipse okay so now from here, it's just simplification. So it might look complicated, but once you simplify it, you can see it's not that complicated. So this becomes a b sine squared theta plus a b cosine squared theta. Okay? We can factor out a b, and we're just going to get sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta, which is just 1. So at the end we have this integral over here, it's from 0 to 2 pi, a, b, 1, d theta. Okay, so a, b is just a constant, so when we finally integrate this, this is an elementary integral, so you guys can do this with this part over here, but when we integrate this, we're going to, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot the 1 half, right? Make sure you don't forget this 1 half from the original formula. But when we integrate this, we're finally going to figure out that it's just that it's pi, a B. So we proved that the area of ellipse is pi A B just using this simple formula. No need to use Jacobians here. I hope this helped guys. See you guys next time.